back out again trying to get back into this metal detecting stuff feels like ages since I've really done it properly um, yeah I'm out of a group I haven't been out with before Facebook group I think it's um Bucks Surrey and Bucks metal detecting club or something like that I can't remember what they're called now run by a nice boat Colin and Len a few others yeah seem like a really good group of people so yeah we're out in Chesham at the moment got uh, free pasture fields to go at loads of history around here so it's got to be some good stuff coming up today, so yeah. So, right, I'll see you on the first good target, guys. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm nearly an hour in now, and that's the best thing I've had so far. Just a bit of drunk, really, but better than the other stuff I've had. If you look in here, look in my bag, you see I've had loads of bits of aluminium and tin cans, you know, all the modern rubbish. So, oh well, all right, on to the next one. All right, just got this one, guys. I think it might be a, um, like the outside casing of a pocket watch. That's what it looks like to me. I'm not 100% sure, but possibly. The best thing I've had so far. In about an hour and a half or so now. Lots and lots of ring pulls and bottles and... Not bottles, um, cans, sorry. It's a bit trashy, but yeah, picking through some of the trash, I managed to get that, so it's not too bad. All right, I'll see you on the next. All right, got a little buckle, guys. Getting a bit older now. Yeah, it's not... It didn't give a very good signal, but I think it's because it's got that rusty bit of iron on it there so I wasn't really sure if to dig it or not but I dug it and yeah little buckle it's the oldest thing I've had so far all right see you in a bit all right guys look at that I'm not sure I thought it was silver but I think it's too light to be silver but it looks quite nice though wherever it is got a bit of detail on there I don't know, it might just be like a I don't know must be a bit of rubbish I don't think it's silver it looks silver but it looks too good to be silver you know what I mean and it's really light as well so I doubt it but it looks nice though best thing I've had for a while yeah, well, got some detail on there though might just be like a handle off or something actually yeah oh well right I'll see you on the next one it's a moo tube yeah that's how it's going at the moment lots of bottle tops and moo tubes lovely jubbly right see you on the next one Guys, I forgot to say earlier that I've upgraded. I've got the remote control now. And look at me, full dais. Um, as you can see, I'm using Sid's Hammy program at the moment. I was trying the Sonar program earlier, but I thought I'd give Sid's Hammy one at the moment. Okay. Um, yeah, I just got this signal. I think I've got it out the hole now. You see, it's coming up about 86. Let's see if we can find it. I think it's just a little bit of junk to be honest. Um, yeah, I think it's just a bit of rubbish. Alright guys, just pop this one out. I think I might have my first coin. Saw that there. You can see it. I literally just popped the plug out and I saw that sitting there. So I think it's a modern one, but a little 50p. Yeah, that's not bad. First coin of the day. I know it's not a very old one, but... Still a coin. I'll take it for now until I find something older. All right, I'll see you in the next. All right, guys, just got this one. I'm not sure if it's a button or a brooch. I thought it could be like a Roman disc brooch at first, but I don't think. Nah, I don't think it is. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it looks interesting. Whatever it is, could be old. I don't know. I'll see if anybody around here has got any ideas. Looks like it could be something, I don't know, it just looks like something I've seen before, like Roman or something, but I'm not sure, it could just be a button. I could just be making it up. It's got a hole through the middle, so yeah, I thought it's probably just a button or something. 
Oh well, alright well, guys, I think I've just got, well, I'll just flick this out. I thought it was a bit of a weird signal, I think I might have two coins. Or something. Is it two coins? Oh, I don't know what that is. I think that's a... Oh, okay, no it wasn't, it was just one coin. It was the imprint of the coin. Um, I think I might have caught it with the bloody spade, but never mind. Yeah, I think it's... It was a weird signal though, it was like really... I don't know, it's like a really long, dragged out. There's nothing on there. There might be a George, possibly a George Third or something. I'm not sure. I think that's all that's in there. Let me just double check. Yeah, it was just the imprint that made me think there was two coins there. Oh, right, it's another coin, though. All right, see you in a bit. All right, I might have another coin here, guys. Possibly a coin. Still in the clod, quite a thin one, so I'm hoping it's old. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to tell what that is because that is knackered. Don't know, it's got a Roman look to it though. Could be. Oh, I don't know. Quite thin. I'm never going to be able to tell now anyway. Might have a little bit of detail at the top there. I don't know. Alright, if I find out, I'll put it on after this, but probably not. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, I just spotted something green and something round. Oh, actually, no, it's not a foot. Oh, what's that? Oh, it could be the end of a thimble. Oh, sorry, not even got it on camera. Either. Um, I'm not sure if it's a ring or. I'm not sure about that. Could be a part of a thimble, possibly a ring. I don't know. Any ideas? No details on there. Don't know. I'll try and get an ID and I'll let you know after this. Could be a little ring though. Cool. See you Just got this one out, guys. Looks like one of those little snake. There's the imprint in the clod there, by the way. Um, yeah, it's like one of those little snake buckle things. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> About as basic as you can get, a snake shaped buckle. I think that's what they are anyway. That's pretty cool though, it's a nice little find. I think that thing I found earlier is part of a thimble. I'm trying to get an idea on it, but I reckon it is just the bottom of a thimble. But yeah, cool little snake buckle. Nice one. Alright, see you in a bit. Here's the next one, guys, little musket ball. Haven't had one of them for a while. Quite nice. Alright, on to the next. <clears throat> Here's the next one, guys, little bag seal. Don't mind little bags here, I've got a nice little collection of them now, so that's add to the collection. Some nice detail on there as well. Probably be able to trace where that's from. Pretty cool. Alright, see you on the next one. There we go guys, got another little coin. Uh don't think it's got much detail on there. Possibly another Vicky Penny or something, I don't know. If I had gold on it then. I think that's just the way it's corroded. Yeah, cool, another little coin. Can't see any any head on there. No. No, not a clue. Right, on to the next one. Right guys, just pop this plug out and I swear I just saw a coin at the bottom of the hole. Can you see that down there? It's like a big greeny. Yeah, finally I've got one that I can actually see what it is. Victoria, veil head. Lovely, it's nice condition as well. Let's see the year, the year will be on the other side. Right? Um, where is it? Probably at the bottom of Britannia. Mm -hmm. What's that, it's 80, 90 something? I can't see it properly. Too much bloody mud on it. <clears throat> So 1891 is it, I think? Or 99? Was it 1899? Yeah, it might be. A little half penny. It's cool though, nice little condition one. Lovely, All right? Let's see if we can find some more. Alright, we've got another little coin, guys. I'll tell you what, I'm actually impressed how deep the um, hammy program's going. If you look at that, that's good. What, seven, seven, eight inches. 
That's the length of the pinpoint all the way down there the coin was. And I've had a quick look at it, I think it's a another little half penny I think. Um yeah, I think it's another one. Oh no, it's an older one actually, it's George. Yeah, you can see George there. Is that George second, is it I think? Yeah, little George II. I think it's half penny. Lovely. Getting older. Got about an hour left now, so let's see what we can squeeze into the hour. Alright, see you on the next one. Here's the next one guys, it's got a piece of a crotal bell. No details on that one. Let's add to the collection of broken croton bells I've got. Alright, see you in a bit. Ooh, I'm out. Got out of the rain just in time, if you can see that. It's absolutely chucking down out there now. Um, yeah, so it was time to go. I only had about 20 minutes left anyway, so yeah, quite a bad hunt. Got a few bits, a few coins. Sorry, having music there. Um, yeah, a few coins, a few bits. Um, that nice snake buckle as well. I've never had one of them before. Um, yeah, nothing amazing, but quite a lot of lot of finds in the end. There's a lot of digging, and I don't normally like pasture, but I think having the remote and being able to mess about with the settings a bit more, and the Hammy program seems to be the best one at the moment. I fiddled around with it a little bit, turned the sensitivity up, and the frequency was on 12 kilohertz, I think. Um, yeah, it seems to do all right on the pasture. It's getting quite deep, quite deep targets. So yeah, I was happy with that. I don't. I still prefer ploughed, obviously, or cultivated. But yeah, it's alright, I enjoyed it, it's a good day out. Uh, thanks again to Colin, if he watches this, <laughs> I don't know if he will, but yeah, thanks again for letting me on your group dig. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be going to more of these, I think, they're not too far away from me, so yeah, it's good. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching, I'll hopefully put some pictures up of the finds and that afterwards. Um, yeah, see you on the next one guys, see you in a bit.